Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm waking up early. It's still dark outside, but I have to drink a little coffee and get to uh, the coop before the door opens because I'm gonna block it off on the inside so when it does open, they can't leave. Um, I'm gonna be clipping uh, wings today. Um, the flight feathers, they got flight feathers on each wing. I'm gonna be um, cutting one side, not of Luna's or Goldie's or there's a Jackie out there and uh, Dora. I'm not gonna do those four right now. Um, but the rest of them I'm gonna clip because if they get into the garden, um, it was, it's, it's not gonna be good because uh, about two months the garden's gonna be going. And once the tomatoes get there and they see them, they'll probably end up uh, um, jumping a fence and pecking up all the, the tomatoes and stuff. So uh, we're gonna get that going. And then I'm gonna get a video um, of the treats so i'll get a video of me clipping like one or two wings just to show you how to do it it doesn't hurt them it's like clipping fingernails but if you clip them wrong it's like clipping fingernails because if you clip them too short they'll hurt so um but they'll grow back um, um every year so uh, you gotta do that every year um let me get this coffee in and um get luna some coffee too No, oh, it's too hot. Okay, we'll see you outside. <laughs> All right, ground zero, guys. Um, it is a little dark uh, still. The sun has not come up yet, but I have the uh, automatic doors right here that open up at seven, I think seven o'clock every morning. Um, and then there's another one over here. I'm not sure if you guys know, but I have two of them because I split it off from about here over to here for the bigger chickens. And when I have younger chickens, I had that, that sectioned off. So when the door opened, the smaller ones can come in this area and not been attacked by the, the bigger birds. Um, that's just, that's what they call the uh, pecking order. Uh, when there are smaller chickens, uh, chickens just do that. So, uh, but right now they're all together since they're all the same size. Um, I think there's 80 of them right now. So I did start off, if you guys didn't know, I started off with 101. Um, the extra one was Luna. Luna was found at FedEx outside of a package. And um, instead of terminating the chicken, Somebody knew that we had them, uh, so uh, we got uh, we got the 101 chickens. Um, usually, you expect about 10% of chickens to pass away um, due to illnesses and stuff, diseases. So, but I think we only had like 4%. So I think only four of them died out of 101, and then um, we gave like 17 away because they were roosters. I didn't want any roosters. Um, and if you know, I don't want roosters because I don't want a fertile egg because if you miss an egg for about a month and there's like 30 eggs laying there, then, um, well, it won't be 30, it's probably about 20 from one chicken. So you have about 20 eggs laying there. And if you have a rooster, you have to throw those eggs away because they might be fertile. So I do not want to sell any eggs to anybody and have a half a chicken in there and pretty much lose a customer for the rest of my life so they probably wouldn't want to buy eggs anymore so with this way you won't have to worry about that and that's why i don't want roosters because everybody tells me to get roosters they're like no there's a reason why i don't have roosters so with that said i'm going to go in here inside this is going to raise up automatically and so i'm just going to go ahead and put something behind that door and the door over there so they can't come out and i'm going to clip the wings and put take put one out at a time outside um, I'll do the first one outside for you right here, and then um, the rest of them I'll get I'll get going because it's eight, 66 of them to do because four of them I'm not I'm not going to do like I said earlier. So let me get one out here, um, show you, and get. Um, let me show you what you need first because my hands going to be full when I have a chicken. Uh, you're going to need some scissors. There you go. 
need some sharp scissors, and you're going to need, very important guys, very, very important, you need this, coffee, you need to get some coffee, so let me get a sip of this and get started and show you about the chickens. I'm gonna do the best I can about showing you this. Uh, it's kind of hard to do all this at the same time. That's what she said. But this is the first lucky winner of the wing clipping. Um, like I said, I'm only gonna do one side, so it'll be a cartwheel. Um, when they try to, when they, the, the, the harder they try, the more they'll turn sideways. If you do both of them, eventually they'll get muscles uh, good enough to go ahead and uh, flap and get up there with the both wings clipped. Uh, it's a personal preference, but some people just religious about doing one wing. Some people do two, um, but I just do one. Uh, the, the lighter color feathers all the way to, to right here are the ones you clip. You want to clip them under the black part, like right here. So it gives you a little guideline. The other, the other um, feathers they have back here are to keep them warm. So it goes from here to here. That keeps them warm. Uh, but these are the flight feathers. Those are the secondary feathers. Um, so I'm gonna do that. What you wanna do, you put the chicken's head under your arm and actually you're not doing a, a, a DDT. Are very good. Like on WWF or anything Hulk Hogan. But uh, you're, um, it's, it calms the chicken. By hide, the, the chicken's hiding like an ostrich hides. So that's, that's what I'm doing there. I'm not, I'm not gonna, Slap them on the back and ooh. No, <laughs> that that won't be good, especially on camera, and I'll probably get my channel taken down. Cruelty to animals, Peter. Okay, well, kind of hard to do. It's usually easier with two people that one can hold and one can cut. But uh, I just want to show you that it's not hurting the chicken, okay? So. Didn't even jump. That's what she said. Okay, well, that's one down. Okay. I got about 65 more to go, so I'm gonna be busy. I will see you guys later. Get my coffee. Go post stop recording. Yeah, as you see, I have a net. I'm not going fishing. I'm going chickening. Um, as I was cutting the feathers, one got through the door because uh, the outside door here had a... Uh, Shut up, I'm talking! Sorry about that. That's a loud chicken. It's, but uh, GoPro stopped recording. As I was trying to say, and still trying to say... Um, one got loose. Um, I do have a, a thing on the door so it doesn't flop when it's inside, it locks. But once it's open, this, uh, this sways back and forth. Well, they ended up, they ended up pushing uh, their way through. So five of them got loose. I did catch two and, and clip their wings. So there's three out there that still has the uh, flight feathers. And one right here still has their freaking vocal cords. Okay, they're gonna, they're gonna just gonna have to 
live free until they jump the fence and I catch them and see if they have their flight feathers. So I'm just gonna do it like that because I don't have all day for this. You see, I took my jacket off. I am warmed up already. I have my cardio going for the morning. So I'm gonna get the rest of these done and uh, let this one squawk until it gets laryngitis. See you after this. They were here by the heat shed over here in my little domain. My man out this section, even though my heat shed's a little bit smaller than the she shed. That's what she said with the she shed. Whatever. Um, as you see here, we have a lot of vegetables and we have some rice on here. Uh, we have some cabbage, uh, there's some lettuce under there. Uh, there are apples, strawberries, uh, lettuce. We have grapes. Uh, we have the green and the grapes. And then we have the bread, like the oat bread they have, multigrain. Um, the rice here, uh, they threw away a five pound bag, not even opened. So, um, as I don't know if you know any of the other vlogs, but uh, I go to Aldi's and I go to the back, the back of Aldi's, not the back of the aisle of Aldi's. Uh, they throw away a lot of good food, uh, especially food for chickens. So um, I am, um, I go once a week to get f uh, food for the chickens. Sometimes twice, it just depends how much I get. This is enough for just one week because I only get 10% treats. Uh, you don't want to try to, I know I'm cheap, but when it comes to laying eggs, you need the, the right mixture of proteins, the calcium, um, and all the, the vitamins they need. So uh, you don't want to feed them a lot of this filler. It has some nutrients in it too, but you don't want all this filler and then they don't uh, lay as many eggs. So you want to just give them treats up to 10%. Uh, and this right here is not even nutritional at all. Like a lot of breads. Hold on, I'm sorry. It's freaking planes out here. Recording FedEx, recording. If you don't know about Memphis, FedEx owns Memphis almost. Probably 90% of the planes that come by here are freaking FedEx. Okay, it's, it's okay FedEx, I like you because you got Tasha working for you, so she's the best employee you got probably. Okay, They're, they don't watch my videos anyway. Okay, well, uh, this is not nutrition at all. I don't put salt in here. You're only supposed to give chickens like 4% salt. Uh, so I don't do any of that. Uh, and it doesn't have butter in it. Usually I put butter in the rice and make it, this is for chickens, okay? Chickens don't need all that fat and the cholesterol and um, need to do cardio out there to lay eggs, okay? If you get them too fat, they do not lay eggs. So, uh, with that said, I'm going to go out here and feed them, bring you along with me. Um, might put some music in the background, might talk just a little bit, but if they get to, if they get to talking too loud over me, then I'll put music in because I don't want to hear all that cackling, okay? I know you probably don't either. Uh, I know a little bit in the background is, is fine, it's kind of meditational, but if they get really loud, uh, then that's just what's going to happen because they do get loud. Uh, but while they're eating, they might be okay. So. Here comes FedEx again. Golly! Trit, trit, trit. GoPro stopper. Oh, this is not even freaking GoPro. Here we go. I um, set the camera up for you guys. And uh, I, I like to do it all in this one area because uh, I could pick up all the corn cob husks and the cabbage uh, cores that they don't eat at the bottom. Um, so let me get to feeding them. Um, there's some grapes. 
I just broadcast it out and try to get them in one location before I get going so they get away from me. Um, some of this stuff, um, I, I just get my cardio in while I'm at it. Uh, these are like Frisbees. So um, you can do them at whole or if you want to get more cardio in, just split them apart and just throw them. But um, with all jokes aside, I like to get out here and meditate, drink some coffee. I usually have a bucket out here to sit down. Um, but uh, for the purposes of this video, I am not going to be sitting down. I want to just go ahead and get this done. Uh, the rice chunks, I'm going to try to go here and there and get them out. Because some of the younger chickens, the, all the white ones mostly, uh, are younger chickens. Uh, that's 10 of them, and I got 10 of the another kind that uh, they usually let the other bigger chickens eat first because like I said before the pecking order <clears throat> so they usually shy away from eating when they're all eating because they don't want to get pecked on by the bigger ones until they grow up like Luna and then stay in their ground uh, I used to crush these apples up because I didn't know what to do with it with the core but the core um, they eat everything I think I think um, the apple core on the seeds, some people say it's not good to feed the chickens the apple core because of the seeds. Uh, but like again, uh, there's certain things like avocado seeds uh, and certain vegetables you don't want to feed them. So you do want to look it up to see, uh, to see if it is okay. Because once something is really, really bad for them, everybody will say it's bad. Uh, but the ones that it's just people's like myths or what they go through and they might have had a sick chicken and they thought it was something to do with a grape. So everybody, they said, oh, I don't feed them grapes because such and such. But if somebody's been owning chickens for 30 years and feed them grapes and they don't have problems, I kind of go, go kind of with that, you know, not just one person. I see multiple people say that it's okay. So, um, I feed it to them. And if you're one of the people watching that don't feed them, grapes or or apples you know just keep going with your belief you know i'm not going to try to change your mind of uh of what you do you know and i, and I expect the same because i've uh, i've been feeding the chickens when i had them chickens for four years and whoops you didn't see that pita i done pecked that pecker with a pita with a pita bread or whatever these are but uh I don't try to change people's minds if they believe in a certain way, you know, like, like that's why I don't talk about religion, politics, uh, sexuality, uh, and just controversial issues on the channel. You're not going to change somebody's uh, mind on certain things, so just, you know, just uh, respect their wishes and uh, move on, you know, talk about something else. Lettuce, is, lettuce and cabbage is mostly just water, so it's not a... Uh, it's not really nutritional, but it's just something they like to do. They like to eat, you know, as they're going for that one, they like to eat that. You can get mad and scare the heck out of them and throw them on the ground and, and split it up easier. You know, it makes me feel better. That's all that counts, right? <laughs> um, strawberries are the last resort for them. I don't know why, but they'll stay out here all day and they will come back to it when everything else is gone. So they're really particular. I did leave the gate open because usually when I'm out here, the chickens follow me and the ones in the yard that come through this way as well. So that's why I kept that, kept it like that. They won't go the opposite way. Maybe Luna might. And there's some onion rings, like little onion, French onions in here that I, they, they like cheese too. So dairy, they like dairy as well. You could feed them, feed them any kind of dairy, I think, if you can get this open. Wish I had my knife that uh, Scott Letterman with Letterman Outdoors gave me on that live. You didn't check that live out I did yesterday. Uh, it's a live outdoor with unboxing of uh, Letterman Outdoor. Um, that knife was freaking awesome. Uh, I'm too cheap to buy like different kind of knives like that. Uh, but that knife um, and the one Audi A8L gave me, uh, freaking, uh, 
like the craftsmanship of, of them were uh, amazing. So I want to I want to thank you guys again. And I don't even have a knife on me. There we go. That's a manly knife. Okay. Well, I'll get some close-ups of the chickens eating here um, with the camera and do some photo shoots and um, and put some music in for you guys. Okay. So let me finish up doing this. And I got to get my day started. I got other stuff I have to do. I have to run to the store. We got a, a review to do, maybe two today. So a lot of shooting today. That's what she said. Never. Right, I am tuckered out, guys. I am going to be uh, taking a little sit down. Oh, 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 that is Tasha's. It's taller. It's off the ground a little higher. Um, no, Tasha don't even come out here and sit on these. I don't even, she only doesn't care, I guess, because there's not really too many people around us too close. Um, it's my outside office, okay? So where I do some thinking. Uh, I do have a chair actually over yonder up under the uh, wind chimes. I, I, I'll go over there in a second and talk to you about that. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. But uh, somebody did comment about these. They said, if I saw those in my neighbor's yard, I would go take them and throw them in the trash. First of all, if you're in my yard taking anything, you might take some lead with you. But uh, I did tell them, I didn't tell them that. 
I just thought that. But uh, I did tell them, um, if you see these in my yard, drop your binoculars. Because if you can see these from your yard, you have binoculars in your hand, nosy rosy. Uh, but I don't have crap to hide. You know, I don't need no outhouse with wood around it because I'm not hiding crap. I'm not hiding anything, any crap at all. You saw, you saw what I did there, okay. Uh, other than that, I'm, I got a lot of running to do today. I'm gonna run to uh, Sports Freak 97's house, Jeff Swartz, um, strong member of the disposal team. If you saw that uh, man cave video we did right before the Super Bowl, that video came out the 12th. So uh, check that video out, but I'm gonna go bring him a uh, country wine glass so he can be a manly uh, country guy with, uh, with the only exotic cup at the Super Bowl party. So I'm gonna do that. Run around the stores, get some hot dogs, because a lot of people have been ordering the hot dogs. Uh, if you check the website out, www.dougarbagedisposalstore.com and go to goods and other stuff, other stuff would be the country wine glasses right now. It's the other stuff, but I got goods on there too. Not me, I'm taken. But uh, seriously, taken. But uh, the uh, goods would be all the pickled items uh, and then the gooey butter cakes. So I do, uh, do the half order of the gooey butter cakes or the full order. The full order is about yay long, about yay wide. Yay long. That's what she did not ever say at all. Okay. Cut, 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 cut. But uh, I do half and whole orders of that. Uh, I do the, all the pickle items, pickled eggs, pickles, uh, pickled onions, uh, chow chow. Um, I do the hot dogs. So I got all different varieties. So just check the website out. They'll, they'll show all the different ones I have of those. Um, but the hot dogs are going good right now. Um, I, did, I was doing the bar S, but it has pork in it. So um, people that don't eat pork probably eat beef. Some, some eat beef. So I'm like, I might as well just do all beef uncured, the best hot dogs I can get in the jar. So I did the uncured all beef for you guys. Uh, I do fit uh, a pack and a quarter in each jar. As much as I can shove in there, talking dirty, I could might shove one more in there, but I put onions on top and bottom to fill the voids at the top and the bottom because hot dogs are only so long. That's what she said. Did she? We got a chicken over here. It's uh, I'm in a shoot. Come on, go, go. All right. <clears throat> but uh, they're only so long and. Uh, I don't want to just have a void at the bottom and the top like that. That's, she keeps, okay, she'll say that. You say it in your head, I can't keep doing that. I got a, I got, I got a show to run. But I don't want the void right there, so I do uh, pack in some onions uh, on top and the bottom. So to keep, uh, you know, so you can use that as a relish or something like that. Okay, other than that, I gotta go. I will go to the wind chime just right over there and talk to you about that real quick. And I'll, uh, I'll see you in a second. Here is the wind chime. Um, this is Ariana. Um, it's a wind chime right here, so it's going off. Usually uh, when it's going off, I, I, I like to think that she's talking to me and uh, she's probably saying she don't want to be on, on camera. Um, but I do have ladybugs in the tree. If you can see some of the ladybugs, they're solar power lights. Uh, I do a solar power light there. That's if anybody or anything comes to that back gate, it comes on and I know I got a better good shot at them. Um, but um, I do have about five ladybugs up there. They're solar powered. That Stoll's team gave me that and the wind chime. Uh, if you see the little pink, the little pink on the wind chime, that is, uh, I'm gonna set this, hold on, let me set this down and I can talk to you a little bit better. But uh, there you go. But the, the little pink that's on the wind chimes, that's straws, um, Tasha actually did that for me. So, cause it kept getting tangled up 
And I think every, about every day um, I was up there, I had to um, get a ladder, bring a ladder out here and uh, untangle it. It's never got tangled one time, even with the bad tornado deal that came through here. Uh, it stayed strong and, and she's still up there untangled. So um, I always, when it tangled up, I always uh, reminded me of when she was younger and I would have to get all the tangles out of her, the rats they call them. And uh, she did not like that. So no more um, rats that got tangled up up there. But there's a, there's a ladybug right here. I have one down here on the chair. You see that a little bit better. But there's different colors. There's red, there's a, a purple, um, yellow, blue, orange, green, whatever. I might have said that before, but I keep this one right here. This one lights up, the green one lights up first. And I like to say, because that's the Swozzle team, the green color in it. Um, but I get out here and a lot of times um, I just get to talking and I sit here for a while. And I, sometimes it's, uh, I sit here quite, quite, quite a long time. Um, a lot of times I'll pass by and say, hey, Ari, you know, and um, but if, if it's going off, uh, I'll make sure to walk over here and um, talk to her. Uh, in about a month, in about a month, it had been a year since she passed. So um, I do regret that she never got to come to this property and, and see uh, what, we had, uh, what we had got and, and um, spent any time here. Um, there's a lot of regrets that I wish I would have done differently. But for you people that, uh, that do have your, your family in your lives and maybe don't talk to them much, uh, just tell them that you, you love them. You know, make sure that you say that. And um, if there's stuff that you need to get out and tell them, you, you should just do that because you never know. You never know when it's going to be too late. Um, I've uh, I've done my YouTube. I never told her what I was doing, but my YouTube, all of it was. Uh, I had a letter wrote, and I always told her, "Hey, Ariana." Um, well, I said Ari. I didn't say Ariana. I said, "Hey, Ari, um, when I when I die, I want you to know there's a letter in there that I want you to open." Um, and I had it in a specific spot. And about every month, I said, hey, Ariana, you know where that letter's at? And she told me. She just said, oh, it's in there. You know? So every month I would do that. And I had a reminder on my phone to let her know. So when I ever did pass, she would know to go find that letter. Um... Sorry, guys. I read the letter under this uh, this wind chime one night, and then I had burnt the letter because uh, I don't need the letter anymore. I did write Tasha a letter now, so if anything's happened to me, there's there's stuff in place that uh, for her, but. Uh, but Ari, um, all this was going to be hers, like all my channel. I was trying to get her into YouTube. Um, so it kind of got her, everybody knew who she was to transfer my stuff over to her account. Uh, it won't really transfer subscribers or anything like that. But all the money every month that I, that I, residual that I get every month, I don't have to put a video out anymore. And... It might trickle in three, five, six, seven hundred, eight hundred a month without putting a video at all. So just the videos that I got out, because I have like seventeen hundred videos out. So I've been putting a lot of videos out, and uh, something that she has that she will always have: uh, bank account numbers, all kind of stuff that uh, where I hid money at, uh, and. Uh, she just didn't know, you know, I was trying my hardest to get this channel going because before I had a child, everything was about me. 
And I know parents, if you're watching, you, you probably understand this. But everything, you know, I was trying to do, I want I want a big house because I want to live in this. I want I want money. I want this stacked up because I just want big, nice things. Well, when you have a child, uh, you still want that stuff, but your priorities are different. When I was like 18 years old, I had a $10,000 stereo system in my car, two 18s, 24 mid-range speakers, eight tweeters, uh, it, all kind of crossover, EPX crossover. I'll go on and on about that, but I'm a speaker freak. I like speaker. I like nice sound. I don't like just a boo 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 and you don't hear the words. I like everything, everything. So I would drive down the highway for two hours and... Yeah, I was drinking. I wouldn't recommend anybody doing that. But two hours later, I don't know where the heck I'm at. I'm just driving, listening to music. Because if I, I did it in town, I would get pulled over and ticketed all the time. I got my license suspended because I got so many speaker tickets. But uh, I really enjoy, like, quality sound. And I still wanted that. My, 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 my work track had like a little little amplifier and two mid-range speakers that was like up here and two down here. But that's all. I didn't like deck it out and go crazy with it. But my priorities changed. You know, uh, I had money set aside. So if her car broke down, I had something to keep her going so she can get her dreams going because she didn't have kids. So that's one thing that I'm surprised, you know, I was so proud of her that she did not have a child yet and she understood that she needs to get herself in order before she has a child. Because once you have a child, you're trying to go through school, you usually drop out of school, drop all your, you know, uh, your endeavors of trying to get educated to get a better job, get you a better job, um, get you st- Get stable first before you have to worry about, oh, I need daycare. I can't afford to go to work because I got to pay daycare. You don't want to get in that situation. But 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 if you do, there's ways around it. There's people that want to help. So don't feel ashamed. They're wanting to help you get to that, lo- that place. And once you get to that place, give them a really nice gift once you get to that, that new job that you got because they helped you out with the kids. Um, just do what you can to get built. Don't don't rob Peter to to give to Paul or or Bob to, to Frank. I don't know who cares who the name is, but uh, sit down and talk to your 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 kid. Uh, I tried to talk to Ariana and she was just uh, she's like me, so she uh, really firm in her beliefs. She's really outspoken. And I was proud of that, that she didn't let anybody run over her. Uh, me, a lot of times, she didn't. Uh, that's one thing that she kept thinking that we was friends. And I'm a parent before I'm anybody's friend to my child. So she didn't understand why certain things that I went through life. Kids don't know, I didn't know this. My mom, my mom didn't run the streets to sell dope and every, sell hope and everything else. But uh, she done stuff and did mistakes that I didn't have to make because all I had to do was listen to her and learn from her. And that's like 10 years from going an opposite direction that I could have gone another direction and went ahead in life. But I didn't know that until I stopped. And then once I, 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 well, once I grew up and learned, I'm like, oh, if I would have listened to her a long time ago, I would probably be rich today. So I, a lot of time, I, I, I have to remember that's what I was when I, I was her age. So uh, I told Ariana, I said, man, I, I've done a lot, a whole lot, a lot of wrong stuff. But for me to do all the wrong stuff, I was put in that predicament to tell you, don't do that. That's not, that's not going to work. I tried that. I tried it, failed, tried, tried it again, failed, tried it again, failed, tried it again, failed. You don't even have to try it one time because I'm telling you, that's not going to work. So there's just certain things that she did not, it didn't click yet. So I wish it did. And uh, But there's a lot of stuff you're going to wish when uh, hopefully never happens to you that you, you, you pass away before your child. Um, I really don't know what else to say. Uh, 
but I plan on, um, I'm going to write a poem and read it to you guys probably at the year. I don't, I don't know how good I'm going to be trying to read it to you guys. It's, I know it might break down, but uh, I'm going to write a poem. I, I used to write poems all the time. Uh, and um, I'm going to write a poem for her uh, for her uh, one year. I, w I don't even want to call it an anniversary, but one year since she passed. <sighs> okay, well, with that said, guys, I'm going to wrap this vlog up. I know I talked long enough. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff to do today, and I really enjoyed you watching this vlog. I really appreciate it. Uh, I do want to let you guys know uh, the Luna gear is out. Uh, so please, please, please go to the website and check that out. Um, I'll be ordering the Luna gear on March the the seventh about and then they'll come in about april the seventh and then i'll ship them out uh probably mid april uh, so please 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 get your orders in i have them in uh crew necks and crew uh, uh v-necks so crew neck and v-necks in black and purple uh, and i do have jackets in only black and hoodies in only black so uh please get your orders in before uh the pre-orders in before I order because there's not going to be a lot to go around to that. So that said, guys, I want to appreciate you for supporting this channel. Um, Ariana's uh, talking a little bit still, so I'm going to um, sit out here and talk to her before um, I go in and I'm just going to wrap this vlog up. So thanks for watching the video and I really do appreciate all your support. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.DougGarbageDisposalStore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out, and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here, um, and you will get a weekly newsletter. So, uh if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you. So I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss. And have a great day. Let's meet other plans.